Hi, my name is Bob. I'm from Vario Scale, and this year we are presenting Vario Mill with enhanced capabilities to grind, polish, and measure silicon and package to ultra thin remaining thickness, which is less than five microns. I have some new results and a new schematic of the optics to share with you today. So, in review, we know that Vario Mill is a standalone five axis CNC tool designed for adaptive grinding and polishing of integrated circuits. It's got an automatic tool exchanger to enable rapid transition from grind to polish or even grind to grind with different grid sizes. It's got the in-situ measurement system so that we can, go f we can track the surface as it's being thinned and it's flattening and changing shape. We have chosen state, uh, stiffness and stages so we have submicron surface re repeatability and accuracy. But now this year we've enhanced it with Ultra where we can measure silicon below 5 microns thickness and grind and polish to that level. Here we, we show you some relaxation compensation where the curves are flattening as they're thinning. We have a sample that's thinned down to two microns globally across the whole die. And here's a backside image, which is uh, <clears throat> not an enhanced image. It's a real visible wavelength light picture. And the final polish quality is 1.2 nanometers RMS as an example. Um, this image uh, was just taken with a stereo microscope, nothing special, and you can see right through it with, uh, with the naked eye. So what we did, we want to talk about measuring thickness of silicon uh, generally, it's reserved for wavelengths that are representing uh, energies that are below the band gap, so it's transparent. And then when you get above the band gap, you get the absorption. And in silicon, it's especially uh, tight where at 500 nanometers, you get one micron depth, which would represent a half micron of silicon with two passes. And then at 700 nanometers, you're at 10, you're at 10 microns. So what we're saying is we're going to prep into that regime. And if our, if our layer is thin enough, then we should be able to measure it with a vis spectrometer. So we did a proof of concept, which will come up next, and uh, on a spin resist layer. What we want to do is that we wanted to exercise the optics, make sure we see full modulation to 500 nanometers, and then that would represent an optical density of silicon that we could compare to. When you're talking about the transparency of silicon, <clears throat> when it's not as transparent, you will see less modulation or no modulation at the lower wavelengths. <clears throat> so in this case, uh, at 400 nanometers, then we are limited by the uh, the limit is when it becomes a direct band gap sem uh, semiconductor. So here we see the, the raw signal for a three micron thick uh, resist layer, which is optical thickness is 0.3 microns, that's a typo, sorry. And uh, when you apply that to a live silicon device at two microns, you can see the modulation ends at about 600 or 650, which what we're saying with the penetration depth makes sense for the uh, thickness of silicon. The optics are proved out and we believe our measurement system going forward. <coughs> So I think we're going to show you, uh, last year we showed you uh, a video where we went from okay, the expanded optics of the tool. Uh, we still have the uh, near infrared and uh, vis imaging system dual LED for the camera on this beam path. Uh, we still have the near infrared spectrometer so we can still measure, we have the long coherence length to measure the thickness of silicon from full thickness at 775 and then this beam path uh, shares this beam path as well. And then the viz spectrometer is going to come up next. And that's how we get from 5 microns down to a quarter micron of silicon thickness. These are polarization uh, controlled so that they can be run simultaneously and not blind each other. Uh, the second half of the tool has the, uh, the hardware for spindle, tool exchange, um, <clears throat> the cascade, and uh, the stages. So we go from one side to the other when we're processing. Um, an advantage here is that we have a water cascade to send to a self-contained filtering system and recycled, so you don't need wet lab space in order to own this tool. We're going to get to the videos next then, where last year we showed going from a grind to a measure without interruption, without user interaction. This year we're showing you a grind to a polish. Right, so we already have the slurry on the die. We're going to drop off the grinding bit from the last run, pick up the new polish bit. What we want to show you is um, at the end of this pickup, there's an end detect switch here that locates the position in space down to a micron, and that's how we have continuity between our exchanges and we don't lose material when we're going to ultra thin. For the plunger now, the plunger is spring-loaded, and what it's going to do is it will pre-compress when you see it on the button. This can be uh, tuned. We offer tunable, adjustable force plungers, and in this case, the, the idea is that we want to be, have a range of pad sizes, but apply the same pressure. So pressure control is very important. With a stage that has 50 nanometer incremental steps, the force control is extremely precise. And the only thing you're limited by is how well you know the size of your pad. Uh, in this case, you're going to see it go to the, uh, the detector switch, and then it will go back to the die. 
So in this case, the spring can be preloaded so that uh, the same pressure is applied for a 2 millimeter pad or up to a 5 millimeter pad. This way you can have the same recipe, the same expectation of removal. If you want to go to <coughs> finer control or larger control. And then once we get going, polishing just commences without interaction from the user after that. So we'll show you next <coughs> what it looks like once it's polished. It's still on the tool. You can see clearly the transparency in, in silicon with visible light. This is not uh, an external illumination. This is just a work lamp that's on the tool. And then you can see also the, uh, the bottom of the polishing bit here. It's highly specular from the polishing. You see the greens and the yellows indicating you're at about the two to three micron thickness range. And that's uh, what it looks like after we're done polishing. So we hope to see you at the booth. Thanks for your attention. That's uh, Variomil Ultra. Thank you.